Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have some really fun finds to show you guys and I'm going to start with the hutch behind me. Um, so I did have this behind me in my last video and I did get a couple comments about it. And this is the same place I normally film with that white dresser behind me with the dog gallery wall. And I've been throwing around the idea for a while now of getting a hutch, but I wasn't sure what I was going to do with the gallery wall. So I came up with the idea to move the gallery wall to the living room, kind of above the dog beds, um, and then just finally go ahead with the hutch and stop waiting for some time in the future and just enjoy it now. So originally I had one picked out on Craigslist and it was free and everything was set to go and then I found out it didn't come apart. So there was no way that was going to fit in my car. So I ended up finding a different one which is this one you see behind me. This was $60, which I was okay paying because it's solid wood and it's in really good condition. There's only a few like iffy spots on it. So I am going to paint it. And I did take the doors off. You can see I'll have to patch those holes up. But at the end of this video, if you keep watching, I'll turn the camera around and I'll give you guys like a tour of it. Because right now you can see there's some empty spaces. I pulled some of the stuff out to show you guys because I already started styling it with new finds. And I wanted to show you guys those finds before I go ahead and show you the whole thing. So I'm just going to start right away with the Ray Dunn because that's exciting to me when I find it. It's kind of like a treasure hunt. I don't know so much. I mean, I like the Ray Dunn. I like the simplicity of it. But I think sometimes like the being able to find it is like the exciting part because it's like a hunt. So when I picked this guy up, I was near Paramus, New Jersey. I didn't know how near I was until after we picked it up and we wanted something to eat so we did like the nearest Panera Bread to me or whatever and we found out the one in Paramus was like five miles away. So then I'm thinking like Paramus, this is good because there's an Ikea there and there's a TJ Maxx. I know there's a Home Goods and stuff but I ended up stopping at the TJ Maxx and I found this dog canister and this is the one that says Bark and it's got the crown on top. And they had this one in Good Dog, and then they had the tall skinny one that says Woof. But I went with this one because the top is large enough to reach your hand in too easy. And we actually do keep the dog treats in here. Now, in my last haul video, I showed you guys the cookies and the tools and how like excited I was. Um, I mentioned that the one thing that I was looking for was the small sugar. So, just on a whim, I went into the store the day after the whole cookie and tool, like, uh, hunt, and I found the small sugar, you guys. It was, like, the weirdest thing. I went in thinking, like, that, that was what I would look for, or that was the one I was looking for, and then they had two of these and two of the creamers sitting there. So, I've got my small sugar, and these retail for $4.99. And then, because after you find one piece... Like, my heart is going so fast and I'm, like, so excited that, like, I have to do a second pass around that section just to kind of, like, make sure I didn't miss anything in, like, the thrill of the moment. So I went around again and I did find this one on the carts that they're pushing out. They're kind of like those big metal carts that come out of the back. And this was just sitting there. So this is the sugar canister and this one is $7.99. And then, because I was in Paramus, like I mentioned, you cannot go to Paramus without stopping at Ikea. Um, I feel like recently they have gotten a lot more of like a farmhouse touch to them. Maybe I know what I'm looking for better, but I feel like a lot more of their things are like getting toward the farmhouse like aesthetic that I like. Um, so I picked up some baking dishes, and I just wanted these plain simple white ones. And I got the small one, which is $6.99, and then the bigger one is $9.99. And I love that these are just plain and simple. They're that white color that almost looks like Ray Dunn. So let me just grab that. You can see they're actually like a pretty good match. Um, if you wanted to just display these, you could do the decals inside, but you obviously couldn't if you're actually going to use them because they would melt. But what's inspiring me to do this... I've been reading the book um, by Marie Kondo called Spark Joy, and it's like the follow-up to her original one. Um, and I don't know if this is supposed to be like the takeaway from the book for everyone else, but for me, it's like, okay, it's about getting rid of things too and like making 
only things that you have around are supposed to make you happy and you're like excited to use them and that's helped a lot in my closet but um with like the cooking stuff all my kitchen utensils like my pots and pans my frying pans like all my spatulas and things Everything is pretty much like what we started out with, like thrift stores or hand-me-downs, and that's not like a bad thing, but like my frying pans are scratched and my baking pans were looking really bad. Um, so I figured these are things that I use all the time, things that like we're actually, you know, that we're personally using. It's not just like an outside, like to look good for other people. So they should make us happy. I mean, we should be happy to use our baking dishes and excited to cook and make meals for the family. So bit by bit, I'm going to go around replacing things, um, not all at once, but like one or two at a time. So I started with the baking dishes, and I got rid of like all the old banged up, like scratched up metal ones, and these two are going to work perfectly for us. So in that same product line... And I'll insert the product line, like the name of it, across the screen now, so I don't like butcher it with my pronunciation. But it's basically a whole collection of like white dinnerware. They have really nice plates and bowls and things, and the bowls are like on my long-term list. But the teapot was on like my list for now. So this is from that same product line. Okay, so I was telling you this was $9.99, and I bought this with a different purpose in mind. So I went on eBay and found this seller that does custom Ray Dunn decals. And this was like one of the best eBay sellers I've ever dealt with. I'll make sure to include their information, like a link to their selling page. And he sells all kinds of Ray Dunn decals. So this is like part of a custom pack. I ordered it primarily for tea. So this is just a decal stuck on the back of that Ikea pot, but that looks so good. And after two days, they're supposed to be dishwasher safe, and they are so easy to apply. Um, so like I said, I'll give you his information, and uh, he was great to work with. He emailed me back like instantly to make sure the designs I wanted. He's got all the Halloween ones, so if you guys can't get your hands on the bowls and you're looking for those, I mean, maybe you can make your own. So I'm going to look for a white pitcher for that one. And I had bought these with the idea of using them on a baking dish, but then I started to realize that if you do, you can't put it in the oven. So maybe they'll go better on like a mixing bowl. And then I almost forgot, I just had to pause it and run upstairs. I found another Ray Dunn piece, and I found this in my local TJ Maxx. And I don't know if you guys are, there we go. So I found one of these casserole dishes. They had a stack of these more, please, probably like four of them. And then there was a stuffing and a casserole. And I just went with one of them. It's $14.99. Now, I will use it to bake in um, sometimes. When I read the back, it's only safe up to 350 degrees. So you kind of have to be careful what you put in it. And the other thing I didn't like is when they were all sitting there in the store, they don't stack very well. So they're going to take up a lot of like cabinet space because they only stack to about that little lip on the bottom. So. Um, now the last thing from Ikea I'm going to show you guys is this throw blanket I picked up. And I left it rolled up because I have it in that little basket behind me and I really like the way it looks. And this one is like shockingly cheap. So this is called Vark Rage. And this was $4.99 guys. It's like insane. Um, this would be a really good one if you're going to like decorate your front porch or something and you want like a cheap blanket you can put out and not worry about. And then it's got some tassels on it. It's not the softest blanket, but I'm just using it for display, not actually like cuddling. So it's perfect for me. And let me see if it gives me dimensions. It does. It's 43 by 67, so that's a really decent size. Okay, and now I am down to the last two items before I show you guys my hutch. Um, and if you can't tell already, I'm like so excited for this thing. It's like I've been taking pictures of it left and right, moving things around. Um, so I'm just like really psyched to have it to play with. So I picked this up at Target. And this is like the only orange pumpkin that I have out right now in my house. But the color of this was like perfect. And this was in the Smith and Hawken line. 
and the way my store is like moving things around they're almost making it look like a department store um, they have something called maybe project 66 or something like something with a number in its name and I can't remember it um, but that was like more modern stuff this was just like randomly the Smith and Hawkins kind of mixed in there but I loved the orange on this it's like a really cool orange terracotta and it's glazed and the top isn't and it reminds me of something I would have made in like pottery class if I was good um, so I was really excited for this and the way I have this styled I'm like in love with it so I'll show you guys that and then the last thing I picked up um, I was inspired by Shannon over at the Daily DIYer. She made a farmhouse like um, plate rack and I have been looking for a plate rack at my Dollar Tree like ever since and I have never found one so finally Dollar General had one and this is what it's left of it. So it was about that long but because I wanted it to fit in the hutch behind me I just cut it down with a hacksaw and you can kind of roughly see. So if you want to watch the video on how to do it she did the video better than I could ever like explain it so I will include the link to that also um, I don't know if it's food safe that I can't say because it is spray painted it's oil rub bronze and then a matte sealer and then you make the little wooden tray to go with it so mine is like a smaller one because my shelves are narrow but this smaller one is perfect for the Ray Dunn ovals or any tiny plates you have so, just to give you an idea. And the racks at Dollar General are $3. So the project was overall really cheap because you could just build this with like scrap wood if you have some laying around. And I used a special walnut stain. But if you want like the step by steps and all like the way to do it, I'll be sure to link her video. Um, check her out. <laughs> She's awesome. Okay, so that is everything I wanted to show you guys. Now I'm going to turn you around and I'll let you see how I styled the hutch. Okay, so I'm going to start right up here in the top. That's where my tool caddy ended up. And I was not really sure what I was going to do with that. And then one of you guys commented that it would look great with rolling pins. And it does, so thank you. And I just stuck that little cubby behind it, a Target pumpkin. Now coming down here, that's where I have that little plate rack. And I'm going to be on the lookout for some small ovals or even some other small decorative plates to kind of go in it. That's my African Violet. All the flowers ended up dying off, but the leaves are still going strong, so I'm going to try and kind of let it go and see what happens. Down there is where we keep the dog one. And then here is my shelf with, right now I have sugar, cookies, a fake plant from Ikea, and then one of those Target pumpkins. Down here I have the blessed platter. And that's what I ended up doing with that orange pumpkin, and I just love how it looks on top of the small white plates. And then down here I have a little raw iron basket, and that is another one that was from TJ Maxx originally for a pet thing, and I just took the liner out of it and turned it backwards. I just threw that blanket in there with some pumpkins. This right now is the only touch of Halloween I have out, and I'm waiting to do some kind of like a small thing where I can do like a cheese board. And then over here, I have the little tea set up, and this one I actually, I do actually use these pieces. So they just have their own section, they're easy to take out and put back. I put in some blue mason jars in that little section. And then down here, I have a yum and a nibble that I actually picked up to use as human snack bowls for like pretzels or things. And then this is that fake rosemary plant from Target. And it's actually in the rosemary pot, but I turned it backwards because I felt like all the words were too much. So, for right now, I'm just displaying it backwards. And then down on the bottom, I love that it's got legs. Um, that's something the original one that I was going to get for free didn't. So that's like really exciting to me. These two sides here are just an opening drawer. And... It's not super organized yet, but I'm going to open it to show you guys how it looks. So, um, I've just got like makeshift things in here for now. But it's just like a tall storage space. And that both sides are like that. Now, I'm really excited here. Um, I'm going to put some probably bin poles on it because they're my favorite for like farmhouse style. This top drawer here is divided. And this is only partially organized too, so you guys have to kind of like excuse that. But 
it's got like five different sections. So if you wanted to do like silverware or things, you could. But the bottom one is kind of where I put my entertaining stuff. Nope, I lied. It's the middle one. See, I don't even know where things are yet. <laughs> so in here I have my placemats. And then it turns out that the wooden dividers that I used in the last dresser still work here. So I've got my pie plate over there. My mug for Thanksgiving time. And then back here I just have some small plates, some cheese knives. Here I thought was a really good place to kind of roll my napkins up. And then down here I can roll the table runners and do them the full length of the drawer. And then I just have like a paper in the bottom, a liner that I picked up at Marshall's in like the closet section. So I am anxiously waiting to paint this and I'll show you guys definitely again after I finish it. But thank you for watching my video. I'll see you in the next one.